Good evening, everyone. How are you doing today? Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, you? Excellent. I'm doing good and I'm really happy because it's Friday. So, oh. more than happy. <laughs> yo, yo. Johnny? Yo muy cansado, tengo sueño. <laughs> You're very tired, really? Yeah. Drink, do you drink coffee? No. No, you don't. Why? Oh, no, sí, sí, tomo, pero no, he no tomado. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe that's, that's, that's the issue that you're missing a little bit of coffee. <laughs> I needed coffee. I drank a cup of coffee at around, let's see, 3, 3 p.m. It's yeah. still kicking. Ahora se supone salimos temprano por el tráfico que se va a generar este día. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of traffic. Well, there, it, it said that you are going to have a lot of traffic since today until July the 8th, right? The 8th of July? Mm. Right? So traffic, because they were saying, so I have ways. Do you have ways on your phones? <laughs> so yes, I have yes. ways and they sent an email today. Uh, it says, let me see. I got an email from ways today and it said that we were going to have traffic from the today till till the eighth yeah it says the eighth i have an email so i don't know maybe probably <laughs> but be careful i'm not planning to go to san salvador anytime soon i'm not going to san salvador i'm not taking that risk i don't want to be stuck on traffic i don't like that i don't like traffic Sí, esto va a ser así complicado. And the problem is when you have Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look here on Waze says, yo tengo el Waze y el Waze me mandó un mensaje ahora. And it says, uh, planned road closure due to see American and car games. And it says, let me tell you. It says See American in car games. Me marca toda la ru un parte de la Roosevelt. Una parte to al todo alrededor del estadio Jorge Mágico. Uh, gimnasio Nacional. Todo hasta el parque Cucatlán. Todo eso marca. And it, says, it says there, I don't know if you can see it, but it says from June, June 23rd, to July the 8th. Okay. okay. Here it says, yeah. I don't know, maybe. But anyways, I'm not going to San Salvador. No, thank you. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to be on traffic, okay? okay? Well, so be careful because you have to go and you have to be on traffic because you work there. So be careful. And, yeah, and just my advice, be patient, okay? Because... It is what it is. So we just have to be patient. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here. I appreciate that you make the effort to be here in every single class. I know sometimes we're stuck on traffic. Sometimes we're sick. Sometimes we're tired. I get it. Believe me that I get it. Because I have another job. And I make the effort to be here in the classes as well as you do. So I appreciate the effort you do, okay, every day. Thank you very much. And welcome to the class again. Uh, welcome to this class that it's going to be one of the last classes because, as you know, we only have today, next week, and Monday after next week. Okay, so basically we have 
six, seven more classes. And then we're gonna finish with this intermediate number one. And you're gonna be, um, you're gonna be able to join intermediate number two, okay? So I appreciate that you're making the effort because we are about to finish this module. And you know, every minute counts. Every minute that you're connected counts for you, okay? Now let's go here with the attendance because that's the first thing I gotta do every day. You know, when you hear your name, you say present or I'm here. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Como oyente, Clelia, hoy sí está con nosotros hoy. Mm, parte, parte de la clase oyente y parte voy a participar. Ok. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here, Miss. Excellent to have you again, Eric. Welcome. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present, Miss. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Present, Miss. Unos minutos estaré de oyente. Ok. Ok. Got it. Thank you. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Seituno Méndez. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Um, Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Jacqueline Lisette García Miranda. Okay, so it seems we're missing a few students today, but it is what it is. Let me send them a message again. Si no dicen que ya no estuve pendiente de ustedes. Of course. Phone data means um, dato del teléfono, okay? That, that's what it means. Okay, so excellent. Once again, welcome to the class. Appreciate that you're here. Remember, today is Friday. We only have one more week to go and two more days, for, for example, today and Monday. So basically, we have only seven more classes. Besides of this one, we only have six more classes, right? And then we're going to finish. So what are we going to do right now? We're going to continue with the topic we were practicing yesterday. That was present perfect models, right? Let me go here to the platform. Let me share with you.
Excellent. Remember, in intermediate levels, as in advanced levels, it's very important that you can communicate and that you can um, express yourself in English, written and spoken, okay? So now we have an activity here that says, read the following situations and discuss with a partner about the actions a manager could have done to improve or to solve them, okay? Could have done. In this case, could have done means podría haber hecho, right? We're talking about possibilities in the past that could have happened, but they didn't. Podrían haber pasado, pero no pasaron. So we, was, we were saying yesterday, so we use the present perfect models to express regret, as you can see here, to express regret or remorse about actions in the past or past actions, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing. So the first situation we have here, uh, let's see if someone can help me read it. Um, Eric Reyes, please, can you help me read situation number one? Okay. And money has disappeared from the register machine. But I can tell how is talking, talking it. Okay, repeat with me, register machine. Register machine. And who is taking it? Taking it. Who is taking it? Yes, correct. Thank you very much. Again. No, it's okay, Eric. It's okay. Thank you very much. So it okay. says money has disappeared. So the person maybe in charge of the register is taking money. But it says money has disappeared from the register machine. But I can tell who is taking it. So we are going to give an advice of what this person could have done to improve or to solve this problem. Then we have the situation number two. Oscar, can you help me reading number two, please? Okay. Some, someone broke the bottle of the best wine in the restaurant, but no. Of the servers have reported the use the issue. But none of the servers have reported. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. So someone broke three bottles of the best wine. So this is the best they have, right? In the restaurant. But none of the servers has reported the issue. Huh. So do we have a double problem? Because this is a problem. And this is also a problem because no server has reported the issue. So what is the advice in this case? We're gonna think of it now. Let's go with number three. Uh, Maria Julia, can you help me reading number three, please? My customer complain that my server take too long to deliver the food. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. So it says, my customer complained that the server takes, the servers take too long to deliver the food. So they are taking too much time to deliver the food after taking the order. So what is the advice? What advice can we give them based on this? So that's the problem. Let's see number four. Uh, please, Julio. Help me reading number four. The kitchen manager has been taking a stuff from the storage room. Okay. Repeat this stuff. Stuff. Okay, thank you. So the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from storage room. Hmm, that is a problem. Okay, so what can we do here? Or what could have we done to prevent this problem? Okay. Now Please, Johnny, help me reading number five. Johnny, are you there? Hello, Miss. Hello, can you help me reading number five, please? Okay, the schedule is a mess and it's it is very difficult for the staff 
to understand it. They understand it. Okay, thank you very much. So the schedule is a mess and it's very difficult for the staff to understand it, right? So what could have we done to prevent this problem? Okay, so basically what we're going to do is to say what actions could have been done to solve the problems we have here. Let's take problem number one. I'm going to give you an example with number one. This is the exercise number one. This is what we have. Okay, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who is taking it. So what they are asking is that I give an advice, an advice about a situation in the past. So I can use should plus have, plus the verb in the past participle, okay? In the past participle. This is the structure I'm gonna be using. It's subject to, okay? So this is the problem. Let's give a solution to that problem using the structure we have here. So money has disappeared from the register. So this is a problem for the manager, okay? They might register machine, but I can tell who's taking it. And advice will be you, right? You, or no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We could use should or we could use cool to give the advice, right? Should or cool. You should have installed a camera pointing to the register machine. Okay? You see? So I'm giving an advice about this specific situation. And just by giving this advice, I'm using the structure they are asking me to use, right? Look, you, subject, should or could, have installed, and this is just a compliment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Allergies. Okay, so this is just a compliment right here. Another advice, you say, okay, so this is the only advice that we can give? No, we can give another advice. Can you think of another advice? The problem I see here is maybe the cashier, do you know what is a cashier? Uh, caja registradora, no. Mm, yes, oh, but the person. Cajero. Ah, cajero, cajero. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, thank you, Eric. So we have a cashier. If we had only one cashier, then we wouldn't have that problem, right? No tendríamos ese problema. Because we know it's the same cashier. So the problem I can see in this situation is that more than one person is manipulating the ma the register machine, right? Yes. So there's one of more one of more person involved. One of more like we have more people involved in this. So either we can install a camera pointing to the register machine, or can you think of another advice? No sé cómo se dice hacer arqueo. Okay, do archery, I think it's archer, archery. Okay, archery, I believe very thick to the, the lost money. Okay, okay, I, I, I like that advice. But archery, you, you will do the arqueo. Let me see if it's arqueo de caja. Yes. No, cash register. 
is cash register. You should do cash register, cash register at the end of the day. Only, only have a problem. Yeah, but Every... you should do the R, the, the cash register when, o sea, Every shift at the end. At the end of every shift. Excellent. You see, as a team, we think very good. Thank you. I like it. So another advice that I can give to this manager is this one. Let's see. You should. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. You could. Let's use you could. You could have done cash register. When? When did you say? At the end. At the end. Every, of every shift. Of every shift. You see? Oh my God, you guys, you are masterminds. Excellent. Thank you very much, Oscar and Oseas. Yes, this is what it is. And actually, that was the other advice that I was thinking about. <laughs> you should have installed a camera pointing to the register machine. Yeah. Or... You could have done cash register at the end of every shift. O podrías haber hecho un registro de caja al finalizar cada turno. Yes? Yes? Because in that case, sé al final, al inicio de cada turno, de la que venga antes, cuánto dejó aquel y cuánto se está dejando este, ¿verdad? Y ahí voy un a identificar. De turno. Exactly. At the end of every shift. So you see, what is important here? is that you're taking every aspect of these rules to make the sentences, okay? And then the complement should be when or what. El complemento podría ser cuando o qué fue la acción. Yes? So I did this example for you, and you see we do it two sentences for one problem or situation. So meaning that we have more than one advice for every situation. Now, what we're going to do is this. We have two, three, four, five problems. We are not gonna do the number one because we already solved that one. We have two, three, four, five, meaning we have four problems. And you're gonna say the advices for this manager about what this person should have done or could have done to prevent the situation. Do you understand what we're doing? Yes, I got it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Remember, if you don't understand, you can always ask. Okay, um, let me see. I just need to confirm who are the people who are participating. Ramiro, are you participating? Yes, yes, me, solo. Yes. Solo, camera off? solo, sin, sin camera, yes. Okay. Good, good. Camera okay. off. Okay, Excuse camera me. off. Yes, it's okay. Javier, are you participating? Yes, miss. Blanca, are you participating? Yes, miss. Perfect. Uh, Veronica? She's not participating? Okay. Um, Rafael Martinez? Rafael Martinez, are you there? Yeah, miss, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Julio is here, right? Because Julio participated already. Yes. Clelia, are you participating in this activity? No. Eric Giovanni? Jacobo? Okay. Ana Veronica? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jacobo, yes, is participating. Okay. Le van a contestar así, le van a decir. 
Okay, Eric Giovanni is not participating. Ana Veronica. I need to know. Necesito saber quiénes son los oyentes. Ana Verónica, no? Okay. Jonathan also is. Silvia, está... are you participating? Oh, no, she, Silvia, she told me she's not participating now. Johnny? Que levanten la mano los que no están participando. No, pues tal pueden haber dejado el teléfono. Johnny? <laughs> oh, Johnny. Sí, mi, eh, sí, participando. Solo que okay. me estoy cambiando de teléfono a computadora. Ok, excelente. Mayra? Y yo voy a tratar de participar, pero este, estoy haciendo un, un registro de unas ventas del, del trabajo, y por eso es que estoy de oyente. Okay. Pero voy a tratar de participar lo, lo, mayor, lo mayor que pueda. Ok, thank you, thank you, appreciate it, thank you. Eh, In my case, means only I, listening because uh, I am still working. Okay, Mayra, thank, thank, you. You. Mm -hmm. thank you for letting me know. So the ones okay. that are not participating are Veronica, Clelia, Eric Giovanni, Ana Veronica, Silvia, and Mayra. Jonathan is participating, kind of. Uh, Janice is connected to the class already, right, Janice? Excellent, that's the idea. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to send these people to different rooms so they are not just in one room. So everyone can participate, okay? Let me see. Okay. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm assigning everyone to the breaker rooms manually. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Oscar, what happened? Change, change the group. Don't, don't work, uh, partner. 
Okay. Les compartí pantalla, les empecé a ejecutar qué íbamos a hacer, nadie contestaba. Ok, okay. déjame ver ahí. No lo hacer yo pronto. Ok, ahorita veo. No, no, oye. Group number two, right? Let's see. No sé qué número es, pero en WhatsApp está. Hello. Ah, Hello. Ya, ya la encontré. Ah, va. Ok, ahorita se las comparto. ¿Sí? ¿Lo ven? Yes. Ah, ok. Y ahí tenemos que... Eh, ¿Cómo resolver el, proble el problema y cómo resolverlo, verdad? Sí, vamos a leerlo y a resolver el problema. Okay. Bueno, ese es el tipo de envite. Ojo, creo que solo nosotros dos. Pero nosotros dos estamos. Está Johnny. Ahí está Johnny. Ah, bueno. Pero es oye. Ah, sí. No, Johnny está. Sí, pero yo, Johnny va a trabajar. Yo estoy enviando un correo que me han solicitado y ahí me conecto. Okay. Ah, vaya. O sea, de ahí yo, yo... No hay problema. Someone broke the wild best way. Javier me dijo que estaba aquí trabajando. ¿No está de oyente?
y pongámosle Miss. Aquí sería manager o you. Uh, you're giving the, the advice to the manager, so you can say you, if you're talking directly to the manager. And if you're giving the advice to another person using the, as the example, the manager, you can use the manager, both. But if you, if you use the manager, then you have to change the have for a has. Yes, because third person. Yes, correct. Okay, thank you, miss. Okay. Cámaras. And cuando sea la salida de cada empleado, refresh cameras. And put the, the boat. Put, put the camera uh, in front of the door. In front of the storage room. Mm -hmm. Escríbalo, por favor, please. Okay. Verify the cameras. The cameras and out in review. Remember que lo que estamos haciendo, aparte de darme un consejo, ustedes principalmente están utilizando el presente perfecto con los modales could o had, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Principalmente, todo el consejo <risa> puede estar bien, pero si no me lo han hecho en esos verbos modales, no cuenta, porque es el tema okay. que estamos repasando. Por ejemplo, yo les decía, the money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can tell who is taking it. Yo decía, you could have installed Podrías, you should, o you should have installed y ese es el, 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 el pues lo, lo que quiero que tengan en cuenta la esencia ¿verdad? de lo que hagamos ahorita okay. exacto, es la esencia subject, pueden you poner should. has you could have sería you could, you could, you could have call oh. ah, de, de. Thank you. 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 Thank Sus, substitute I Y and For an I, I, yeah. I, I E D. D. Correct. You should have trained the employees of the kitchen. The kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. The kitchen manager should have reported. The schedule is a mess and it is. Siempre. Hello, hello, hello. Sí. Déjenme compartirles un consejo antes de que se me vaya de la mente. Miren, cuando tenemos verbos auxiliares como could or should, el siguiente verbo ya va en su forma base. Así que no tendríamos que cambiar el have por has, porque el should y el could ya son los verbos principales de la modificación del verbo. Así que no van a modificar por have, have por has. Ok. Si lo que sería okay. de manager, should have, ahí sí aplica porque ya llevamos el verbo modal. Había olvidado ese detalle, I'm sorry. Thank you, Miss. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Miss.
Okay, two more minutes until we come back. When you come back, you're gonna present or you're gonna share your answers. Once again, two more minutes until we come back. When you come back, you're gonna share your answers with your classmates. Hello, welcome back. Well, so a few things that I gotta tell you. The first thing is it's raining cats and dogs. So hopefully I can complete the class, right? Because you know, sometimes I have problems finishing the classes when it starts raining really bad, but I hope that I can finish the class today. I hope so, well, I, I really hope so. Okay, and then if I disconnect from the class, Remember that when you record the classes, sometimes that can help me. <laughs> so if you can do that, we're even. Carlos, it's your design. <laughs> design. Yeah. What is it, Johnny? Carlos, is this, uh, ¿cómo sería el designado? Designer. Who's going to be the one? Well, the designated? I don't know. Designated, Zoom picks okay. them. Zoom picks them automatically. So I, I'm okay. not the one who chooses them. Zoom picks them automatically. So if you are in charge, please try to record the class in case they tell me that I need to that I need to share that video. But
but hopefully it's not gonna happen because it's raining, it's raining really bad, but not that bad. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, anyways, so now we're gonna share, Ramiro, tell me. Yes, eh, se puede grabar desde el teléfono. Yo soy en el teléfono, por ejemplo. Mm, I think you gotta be on a computer. Yes, okay. Yeah. Gracias. Okay. No, thank you for asking. Okay, well, let's hear the answers. Let's see. So we had group number two. Let's go with Johnny, Jonathan, Julio, Maria, Veronica, and Eric. Okay? Share your answers with us. I start. Okay. Is the the O or, or, or una? No, you can share them all, but different people has to read them, okay? Okay. Uh, the number one is only answer or all the phrase? only the answer, it's okay. Okay. You should have done cash register and at the and every shift. At the end of every shift, it's correct. Number two, he could have verified cameras on the day of the event and discount to the old waiters and equal part. Okay. Okay. Next. Oh, okay. You could got discount on your next purchase. Okay. Read the number four. You could have controlled cameras in front of the storage room to avoid this situation. You should organize the sketches for the staff. Okay, thank you. Let's um let's give them an applause for the activity they did. Don't stop, don't 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 stop the sharing. Keep on sharing. And I'm gonna tell you just some advices. Maybe with this one, if you can see, I'm gonna point here. We are missing a have. So you're saying you could got. But remember, in the structure, we need to have the have. And you didn't write the have there. So I'm going to tell you how you should have done it. You could, you could have gotten, gotten, because I think got, get, got, gotten, 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 let me see what it says. You could got a discount on your next purchase, okay? You could get a discount on your next purchase. Let's modify that. Because you should, you could have gotten. Ahí dice, tú podrías, ya con lo que le modifique yo dice, tú podrías, uh, you could have got, you, tú podrías haber tenido un descuento en tu siguiente compra. Yeah. Pero como el, el advice es para el manager, entonces al manager le estoy diciendo de que él podría haber tenido un, un descuento en su propia, próxima compra o el customer. Eh, eh, customer. Ajá, entonces ahí podemos decir, I you could have gotten the customer. You could have gotten the customer. A discount, y luego agregan esto, a discount on, pero acá ya no ponemos your, espérenme un momentito para que vayan viendo lo que les estoy diciendo, y ahí ya no ponemos your porque no estoy hablándole a, no te estoy hablando a tú, te estoy hablando de que de al, al customer, ¿verdad? There. On there, correct, on there, on their next purchase. Ok, entonces al final quedaría, you could have gotten the customer, podría haberle conseguido al cliente un descuento en su próxima compra, right? Uh -huh. Right. 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 Right.
Okay, let's go with number four. You could have controlled. In this case, the problem is that you're not using, you're using the verb control mm -hmm. the base form. Mm -hmm. Right? And you need to add it in the, oh. right? In the past participle. participle form. You could have controlled the cameras, the cameras in front of the storage room to avoid these situations. Ahí estamos bien. Let's go number five. You should, let's see, you are, do you see the problem? You should organize. Do you, do you know what we're missing there? Yes, ketchup. No, no, no. You should organize. Uh, have, uh, right? Uh, because we're organize. using, you should have organized the schedules for the staff. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Miss. That's it. You can take a screenshot of this because I'm going to go with the next group. Oh, something happened. Uh, thank okay. you, Miss. Did you take the screenshot? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. I'm going to go with the next group now. Thank you very much. It was good. But yeah, I need to correct those details so you know. Let's go with group number three. Blanca, Jacobo, Jenny, Oseas, Ramiro, and Ana. Okay? Okay, number one. Uh, Oseas, eh, ¿quién va primero? You can start, Ramiro. Hey, thank you. Um, you could have done a registered cash at the end, the end of every shift. Number two, someone broke three bottles, bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the use. The manager should have asked for to everyone to pay the bottles. Number three, my customer complained that my server stayed too long, too long to deliver the food. You should have trained the employees of the kitchen. Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. The kitchen manager should have report, reported it. Number five, the schedule is missed and it is very difficult for staff to understand it. The manager should have done the schedule on one week before. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let's give them an applause. Just don't stop the sharing. I'm going to correct some mistakes here. Let's go number one. The only problem here is that you write the words in the incorrect order, right? So register cash, no, cash register, okay? Okay. Next one. Uh, the manager should have asked for to everyone to pay the bottles. Okay, let's see. Here you're using for to. So the manager should have asked everyone to pay for the bottles okay uh, let's see i don't like it there for for the bottles okay so the manager should have asked everyone to pay for the bottles okay my customer, okay, you should have trained the employees of the kitchen. Yeah, it, this one is correct. Oh, but you can say the kitchen employees instead. You can say the kitchen employees, but the employees of the kitchen, eh, it's the same thing. Let's go with number four. The kitchen manager should have reported it. I like one. I like this one and I like the structure, pero el manager es el que se ha robado cosas. 
¿Y el manager debería haberlo reportado? ¿Do you think? O sea, debió haber reportado, digamos, que estaba tomando las cosas para no llevárselas así como escondidas. Ah, debería haber reportado que tomó cosas. Ok. So the yeah. manager, well, I think you are correct, but the, man, the kitchen manager should have asked before taking things like that. The manager should have asked before taking things, okay? The manager debe haber preguntado antes de tomarlo. Then, the manager should have done this schedule one week before. That one is correct, okay? Just that. Take a screenshot if you like about the correction. Ready? Okay, ready. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you for your participation. But here's the thing, even though you're making a few mistakes, they are not big mistakes. They are mistakes that I can correct, okay? It's okay. So let's go with group number one. Clelia, Eric, Jose Alfredo, Mayra, Oscar, and Silvia, Patricia. Okay, before you start, all the sentences are missing the have. Did you notice? Can you see it? Yes, miss. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay. In the first, um, we have two options. Number one, manager should apply discount on broken trip bottles. Second action, manager should apply warning employee. And the next, my customer complained that my server take too long to deliver deliver the food. One option is manager should meet to the kitchen staff. And second, manager should check every procedure, times, standard process. Um, the next, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. The first option, the manager should check cameras. Second, manager should do the on dismissals or on fire process. And finally, the schedule is a mess and it is very difficult for staff to understand it. One action, the manager should look for a new team of collaborations. And second action, the manager should train the staff. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for your participation. Let's give them an applause. Thank you very much. Even though might have read them all, right? <laughs> but I think everyone participated in the activity, okay? Now, okay. let's correct what it is incorrect. Don't do anything right now. I'm going to correct it. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All. This one. Yeah. But the problem is, Les voy a decir, no, 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 mejor en lugar de X voy a hacer otra cosa. Para que se entienda por qué lo estoy haciendo. Para no hacerles un solo desorden, ¿ok? Vamos a poner un corazoncito. We're going to put here a heart, a heart, 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 a heart, a heart, a heart, and a heart. So, y aquí le voy a poner el, de, el glosario, vamos a llamarle a esto. Todo donde iba el heart, ustedes deberían haber puesto... Have. Have. 
todo el presente perfecto. ¿Se acuerdan que la actividad es sobre el presente perfecto? ¿Yes? Pues no, tenemos el presente perfecto. <ríe> la siguiente va a ser esta. Apply, apply, need, check, check, do, eh, look, and train. Todos esos verbos tenían que ir como, a ver si lo recuerdan. Pas, simple, simple, pas. Pas, party. Pas, party. Por ejemplo, apply, el past participle de apply, should be applied. applied right? Mm. El past participle de meet es met, the check es checked, con sí. id al final. El de do, que es un irregular, también sería don. Sí. Don. Don. Okay, look is looked and train is trained mm. with ED, right? Vaya, esa sería la observación general. Déjenme ir a la observación más específica. Manager, aquí me gustaría que antes de manager pusieran siempre la palabra de manager, el gerente. Porque si no solo dice gerente debería y pues suena mejor el gerente, ¿verdad? Déjenme hacer un poquito más aquí de lado esto. De manager. Cómo lo hicieron en las últimas dos, ¿ok? Let's see, ahora una por una voy a ir. The manager should have applied a discount, aquí yo pondría a discount, on the three broken bottles. Cambiaría esto aquí y diría on the three broken bottles. Oh my God. Like that. My customer complained, okay. <clears throat> manager, the manager should apply warning employee. To warn, bueno, aquí yo eliminaría por completo la palabra apply. Y debería poner warn it. El warn sería el verbo. El warn lo pondría como verbo. Should have warned the employee. Entonces me quedaría, should have warned the employee. Should have warned the employee, ¿verdad? Let's go. Manager should have met to the kitchen staff. Al staff. Para el, aquí dice, el manager debería haber conocido para el staff de cocina. Pero lo que el correcto sería... Reunido. Meeting. Oh, pero meeting entonces es un nombre, no es un verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces sería lo correcto. Como reunir a la gente. The manager should gather. Entonces es gather. Should have, pero vamos a ponerle, should have had a meeting. With, con, with the kitchen staff. Y ahí sí le agregan al final, with the kitchen staff, ¿verdad? The manager should have had, debería haber tenido, una reunión con el kitchen staff. Y aquí ponen uh -huh. eso. Manager should have checked every procedure. Acá, si está bien, lo único que está mal acá es la S, porque al decir every, lo hacemos singular, ¿verdad? Entonces, every procedure, cada procedimiento. Porque si no diríamos cada procedimientos, ¿verdad que no cabe? Cada procedimientos, cada procedimiento. No. Luego, the manager should check cameras, should have checked, aquí está todo bien, solamente agregando lo que ya tenemos aquí, ¿verdad? Que should have checked, entonces aquí le agregaríamos a D, the cameras, y la palabra de cameras. The manager should have done... Vale, aquí yo cambiaría esta y le pondría The manager should have fired the employee para que no nos compliquemos la vida, ¿ok? ¿Verdad? The manager should have employed, uh, okay. fired the employee. The manager should have looked for a new team of collaborators. Está bien, vamos a dejarla aquí. The manager should have trained the staff. ¿Ok? Ahí eso es para que le apliquemos. Tomen un screenshot de lo que vamos a hacer.
Ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, for excellent. Now, the next activity is this. With the corrections I made, we're gonna go to the breakout rooms and correct our mistakes. Is that understandable? Yes. Okay, we have work to do. We have work to do, let's go. Okay. Rafael Martinez, ¿en qué sala estaba usted? What breakout room were you in? Me parece que en la uno o la tres. Algo la uno así. Uno con Me Mayra, con... Oscar, René, Clelia, ah, José Alfredo. Con, con, con Oscar. Está bien. Okay. Jonathan, ¿y usted? Sí, sí también. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuál? No recuerdo en qué grupo estaba. ¿Pero con quién estaba? Johnny con Oscar, eh, eh, ¿qué se llama? Con Johnny. Johnny y Oscar. Johnny y, y Oscar con... están en diferentes salas. Ajá, pero con ellos está, no sé, pero con ellos estaba en el anterior. Lo que pasa Ay, es que, mire, está, está lloviendo acá y me sacó de, de la plataforma y me tengo que volver a meter. Me imaginé, me imaginé. Ahí le envío ya la invitación. No, gracias, gracias, mire. Uh -huh.
Fishing man. Oh my God. Eh, solo, solo que hice ahí en, en paz. Eh, no, solo delete. Sobre... Sí, delete. O sea, lo que quise decir, el verbo en pasado. In yes, past. yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But... No escribir, no escribir eso. <laughs> ah, eh, he didn't catch the idea. Yeah. Yes. No sé si el compañero tiene el micrófono apagado. No. Sorry. Alguien me lo apagó. Sorry, baby. Ay, no Yo sí estaba <risa> también. ¿eh? <risa> la misa entró. Mira. Cuando la misa ah. entró, yo oí que te quedas callado, así que ya sabemos quién fue. Mira. Ah, pues ella fue. A ver, a ver, a ver, también dice the manager should have in, ese in, ¿de dónde lo sacamos? A ver, ya aquí los compañeros lo me dicen y yo les copio. Vale, bueno, the manager should have después, every... después cuando caen la regañada, salen muriendo. <risa> no hay regañadas, hay correcciones, no, se cumple. Después, mire, yo no oh, sé qué mira. No sé qué cara pusieron cuando la mía empezó a decir, eh, conocí, no tampoco. Y yo dije, ah, yo no, ay, qué padre, malo, yo no he dicho esto, no sirve. ¿Ya me van a regañar? Sí, sí yo sí, ¿ya se escuché? Yo, no. Yo, mire, hasta cuando ya le puso corazoncito, las lágrimas se le empezaron a secar a esto. <risa> qué malo, qué malo, qué malo. Sí, pero le, le quitó la hecha. No, no. <ríe> y este era el verbo. Triste, nada más. <ríe> no, pero es que fíjate que de veras, como que si estuviéramos bien seguros, me lo dijeron. Sí, así va, va. Entonces, después lo dije. <ríe> pero así aprendemos. <ríe> Sí, ya lo corregimos. Uh, You okay. finish with the corrections? Yes, please. Okay. You should have, you should have done just register at the end of the change. You should have verified the cameras, the cameras, solo agregamos la palabra de cameras on the day of the event and it's gone to all waiters in equal part. Very good. You should have el que, done el que it. dijo perdón is, uh, uh, I can okay. hear you. You okay. should have yeah, you know, verified cameras. cameras. You should have verified the cameras. Verified the cameras. The cameras, okay. Thank you, Miss. Yeah, very good, thank you. Okay, okay. appreciate it. Okay, but you? I read it. You could you could have done a cash register at the end of every shift. The manager should have asked everyone to pay for the bottles. You should should have trained the kitchen employees. The kitchen manager should have asked before this taking thing. The manager should have done the schedule one week before. Excellent, good job with the correction, good job. Thank you, Miss. 
Okay, thank you. Hello, welcome back. So, remember, the corrections are not regañadas. <laughs> or like some people said when I went to the break rooms, eh, usted dijo esto no servía, esto no, yo no dije eso. I didn't say that. I didn't say this doesn't work. I didn't say that. I said, you should do this, you should do that, but don't say that I said that because then I'm going to be in trouble and I don't want to be in trouble, right? So remember, we are learning and it's okay to make mistakes. So it's very okay to make mistakes. And then I can give you the corrections and you can work on that, right? It will be worse if I didn't give you the corrections and then you didn't know what was the mistake, right? That, that's, that's a problem. But with the corrections, we can get there. Now let's do the next activity. And we're going to discuss a question. I cannot really send you a WhatsApp audio because the sky is falling. It's raining cats and dogs. So if I'm screaming, maybe it's because of that. So I apologize because I might be screaming. Okay, we're going to answer this question right here that says, how would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? So a crisis management plan, we're going to look for this meaning, okay? I want you to go to the break room and look for the meaning of this right here. What is a crisis management plan? Averiguamos qué es eso. Y cuando lo averiguamos, and when we have verified, vamos a responder esta pregunta. How would you define an inadequate or inadequado crisis management plan, okay? Vamos a responder esa pregunta después de que le siga mi pregunta. Next, it says, sorry, could a lack of communication, lack, falta de, could a lack of communication cause a crisis, causar una crisis, uh, una crisis gerencial, a man crisis management plan, Crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss. Aquí dice, podría la falta de comunicación causar una crisis de gerencia en el plan. A ver, espérenme, que ni yo lo entiendo. Todo la comunicación causa crisis management plan. Oh, ok. Ok, ok, ok. Crisis management plan. Lo que ustedes van a investigar. Como pérdida financiera. No, podría una Como falta. Como un plan de... de gestión de crisis. Ajá, podría una falta de comunicación causar que un plan de gestión de crisis falle en mitigar una pérdida de. Pérdida financiera. Perdón, una pérdida financiera. Ok, repito. Podría una falta de comunicación causar que un plan 
de, ¿qué me dijo Johnny? Me gustó su... Gestión de crisis. Un plan de gestión de crisis falle en mitigar una pérdida financiera. Pérdida financiera. So, vamos a ir a investigar qué es un crisis management plan y luego vamos a responder estas dos questions. We're going to answer these two questions. Do you understand the activity? Yes. Okay, and then you're going to share the answers with me. Okay? Once you finish, you're going to share the answers with me. Or okay. when with your classmates. Will you say something? No. Okay, perfect. I mean, wait a minute. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, me, me sacó. No usted, sino que el internet. Gracias. It's okay, don't worry. O sea, did you get the invite?
if a crisis occurs. ¿Cómo te pasaría? Lo que le pasaría. Yeah. Outlines. Outlines. Is is correct that? Is that correct? A crisis management plan outlines how your business will react if a crisis occurs. The plan should identify how we'll take action and what else is Yeah, it's correct. Now answer the questions. Okay. 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 Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Uh, the the goals or the objectives of the crisis management the crisis management is reduce the crisis reduce yeah. the crisis no no create the crisis mitigation is to anticipate the crisis the, yes yes crisis okay. Uh, Antes de que pase la catástrofe. Uh, the uh, uh, crisis management plan outline is the, the first one question. How would you define? Yeah, uh, it's the first question. Precious. It's defined. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But mm -hmm. the the point number one is uh, mit mitigation financial loss. This should reduce expense and freeze place. Podemos hacer cada, cada uno como una como un como una recomendación para no caer en falta de comunicación que nos pueda hacer fallar el plan. Por ejemplo,
Okay, let's see. Mm, Johnny, what is a crisis management plan? Definition? Yeah, please. No, 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 no lo, no lo, ¿cómo se llama? No hice la captura de lo que estábamos copiando. Ahí, ahí está la, la pantalla. Ah, okay. te... Thank you, Oscar. Is ISIS management plans outline how your business will react if a crisis occurs? The plan should identify who will take action and what their roles will be. Okay, okay. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. Okay, so it's how a business will react if a crisis occurs, right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's go with another participant. Let's see. Julio. Julio. How would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? What is an inadequate crisis management plan? Yes, mm, I think it doesn't, they doesn't have a, a step for the crisis. They don't have a steps? steps for the crisis okay they don't have a step to follow in a crisis excellent would you thank you very much and let's go with oseas could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss do you think that yes it could or no it couldn't oseas Yes, yes, it could, because no one knows what the role is. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Very good answers. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now let's go with the last attendance because I need you need to go to the meeting. You're very sleepy, and yes, okay. Um, Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez, Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez, Present. Carlos Alberto Melendez Rosales, Clelia Estela Flores Hernandez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here. Rafael, tell me. Miss the platform uh, finish to Monday. Yeah, you have to finish next week. Okay, thank you. Yeah, till Thursday, como por el jueves deberían haber terminado, okay? Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Eric José Reyes Molina. Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Malgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Present, Miss. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Seas Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present, Miss. And Jacqueline Lizette Garcia Miranda. Okay, thank you very much for being here and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Have a good day. Be careful. Um, don't crash it. Don't have a good it. day. Happy don't weekend. Don't see you more. Monday. Yeah, be safe. Be safe. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. bye.